<laughs> Penis! Oh! Alright, what's up, my, my, my peeps? Daddies. Um. <laughs> let's get right into the video. So, yeah. It's gonna be part four. Uncle Pop. Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing this dance. But, owie! Pennywise. Don't, don't ask why I have this. It, it's broken. Damn thing. But, uh, oh. I jump straight into it. Like, literally. My butt is in the camera. Oh, ow! Ally McAllerson. Where's the Funko Pops? I mean Funko Pop. <laughs> All right, so we got the Funko Pop. It is the Pop WWE number eighty-four Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm not going to be like those stupid guys on YouTube who just destroy the boxes and I just comment on the YouTube shorts called STOP RIPPING THE BOXES! So yeah, here he is. Lone, notice the detail? On, oh, okay. I'm going to have to get some extra light here. So we have a black light to just... Show off some more brightness. So, see how there's a little head? Little skull right there? It's actually a Funko Pop head shape. And he's holding a belt. Which I think is really cool. And it says 316 right there. And he's got the blue pants. And he's got the bald head. And I don't know why there's a black thing. I don't know if that's they intentionally. Okay, no, they didn't intentionally do that. Should we do, okay, each Funko Pop, we're going to change the light color. So, for the next one, we're going to do it red. <laughs> Alright, we got the next one. It's the Pop WWE number 85, freaking China. But some of you don't have any of these. I know Top Pops has Mr. Peanut. And stuff. So yeah, let's just get the prop the light onto the box right there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Here is China. Um, all I can really tell is that she is very strong. Uh, she died, and, and um, what time I was here at this house with my grandma, and I said, "Hey, grandma," and she's like, "What?" And I said, want to know what the eighth wonder of the world is? And she's like, yeah, what is it? China. And she thought I was talking about the country. I was talking about this girl, the wrestler. Chinese, bitch. <laughs> I'm probably not going to get number 87, Drew McIntyre, but I do have... 84, 85, and 86. 86 is Edge, my first ever Funko Pop. And, yeah. Smells like plastic. Well, yeah. This is all I can say about her. And uh, She's very strong. They made her look very strong. And she's doing that sassy girl shit. No, I'm kidding. I love you guys. Okay, the color pink goes so well with this Funko Pop. It is the Harold Malk Ornaments Funko. The Ornament Pop Marvel Groot. Groot. I got him at Walmart. He was like 20 bucks, I think. I don't know, 15, 20. But uh, yeah, this is how you unbox them. This is not like any type of 
normal unboxing. Oh, I knew! Oh, I ripped it! Oh, wait, no! Alright, so it goes like that. And then you just... Oh, Drew and his background are right on out. I actually like this background a lot because it has Iron Man, Thor's hammer, the Avengers logo, Ant-Man, Pokemon symbol, Spider-Gwen, um... Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, and a lot of other stuff like The Flash, which is from DC, not Marvel. Wait, I don't like the rules here. Well, yep. Want to know why I choose the color pink? I mean, I mean, it was our next color anyway, but like, it actually fits like really well with this Funko Pop. It's not really a Funko Pop, it's an ornament to hang on the tree, or hang on you like this. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't, don't, don't. Don't delete this video, YouTube. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> this is my life! How am I going to be doing this for the next 20 years? Right, YouTube? If I'm going to have to make another part four, I'm going to be so mad at you. Freaking YouTube. Can't even understand a child's life. So, yeah, like I said, bought this at a Walmart. And his little tree things are very floppy. And it kind of feels like they're about to break because if you pull them or, like, t twist them or, like, bend them too much, it will go yeet and break on you. So, don't do that to your Funko Pops. And don't cut open their heads. People do that just to trick you. They don't actually store food or brains. They do, they just, they put it in there somehow first and then they just ruin the pop. They ruin the pop either way. They like sew it together or something. Like paint it together. Paint it. And then they like, eh, just destroy the Funko Pop. Then they find like, oh, brain. Slime, um, let's see, food, blood, another Funko Pop inside of a Funko Pop. There was this one YouTube short where this guy had a bobblehead baby grew, and inside the head, it's a bobblehead, so you can see in the head, there was a little baby grew. It was a 10 inch grew, not inside, it was a 10 inch grew. And then inside the head, there was a mini group, a normal three inch. And I'm like, bro, you just shoved that in there, you stupid. I hate it when people just ruin their pops. Well, you can't really ruin a bobblehead because you can just look right under and like see a pure world of imagination. That's a Willy Wonka, Willy, Willy, Willy fucking Wonka reference. Willy Wonka and the D's Nuts Factory. Yeah, Willy Wonka and the D's Nuts Factory. Let's go. Let's set that a trend. Willy Wonka and the D's Nuts Factory. There's this guy named Funky Videos like that. And it's called Funky Videos. The creator of the Funko Pop trend. Funko Pop head trend. YouTube, destroy that YouTube channel. I don't like it because they just ruined their Funko Pops. I collect these for a reason. Because they look awesome. So I'm going to grab the next Funko Pop. And we might be able to review my whole entire collection in this video. Because we're only going down into a couple Funko Pops again. Only five more Funko Pops to look at. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna grab the next Funko Pop, and, yeah. Alright, this, I have the, oh, oh, this color really does not fit the Funko Pop. But I have the next Funko Pop. It is the Pop Television Masters of the Universe number 996 Mosquito. Now, I got this pop for $6 at GameStop. 
And the next Funko Pop that we're going to review, I actually got him at the same um, the same place in the same day. And, um, yeah, let's just get straight into opening him. And, uh, um, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Why am I crying, you ask? No, absolutely, for content, I guess. Um, I sworn there was a background of that. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't really like the backgrounds in one. Burn! Burn the place! Oh, I already feel like getting hot. Alright, come on. Yes, it's warm. So, anyways, here he is. Mr. Red Fire Hydrant Head. Look at this piece of shit. I'm not saying it's bad, but, like, it's bad. <laughs> Still looking for that thing. Uh, yeah, so he's gonna like. I don't. I don't really feel like getting demonetized today, so I'm not gonna do what I did. I did this. Ah! Cause he's a mosquito and he's got the sucky mixer thing. Don't worry, I kept my pants on. <laughs> I mean, I did keep my pants on with the, with the call on the call. But, like, th this is not important. You can, please don't demonetize me. <laughs> please, I want to make money. Uh, ow, I hit my knee. Oh, God. Oh. So, yeah. He, he is 8-bit shoes. He's wearing 8-bit shoes, and he's black. I haven't watched the TV show, but, uh... I thought he was supposed to be wearing red gloves and stuff. But no, he's actually black. I didn't know that notice that until yesterday. I noticed that he was black on the on the first time. First that the first day I got him. But like I didn't know if I thought that was just like a mishap. Like they like they didn't mean to do that. That's penis. Alright, well, you want to fall out like that? Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Oh, oh God. Oh. Shit.